Ghana Livestock Development Authority, GLDA, is on high alert following confirmed cases of vesicular disease in Venezuela. More in this report. Head of GLDA's Animal Health Unit, Dr. Colbert Bowen, says following the disease's confirmation, a team was dispatched to Region 1. This is to prevent the importation of animals and animal products, which aid in the transmission of the disease. We've um, sent in a few officers there, um, led by a, a, one of our veterinarians, and they're presently on ground in Region 1, specifically um, the... Mabrome area, because of the influx of mo and movement of people from um, Venezuela, because of the situation of, in Venezuela, uh, there's always this threat of somebody wanting to bring over uh, a live animal or some sort of meat from those animals that are affected to Guyana. Dr. Bowen advises that should the symptoms of vesicular disease be observed among cattle, swine, goat and sheep or other split-hooved animal, immediate contact should be made with GLDA on telephone numbers 220-6557. In going with the name for tumor disease, it affects the hoof of animals. So you find on, 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 on just above the hoof of the animal, you find the same raised boils and so forth. You find that um, the separation of the hoof, you know, on the animals. So you'd find these signs and symptoms. One, um, looking at the animal, might be off feed, might be drooling. Um, you're gonna see them um, limping, lameness in the animal. And those are basically signs that you'd find. Guyana has been deemed free from foot and mouth disease. This makes it easier for the country to trade in animals and animal products internationally. In order to maintain this status, the GLDA, in collaboration with other local and international agencies, earlier this year held a simulation exercise to demonstrate its readiness to deal with any such outbreak. The exercise received high marks for the state of preparedness from local and international stakeholders. The current deployment to Region 1 is in keeping with this state of readiness. For InfoHub, Tiffany Rogers. Thank you.